Hey guys, welcome back. I don't know if you guys know what's about to happen tonight, but we do. <laughs> Still, no, no. Yeah. Tonight we're doing what you guys love to see uh, uh, Gunner and I do most, which is, uh, I mean, I mean, first of all, sit together in a room, okay? Uh, and, check. And, and, and check. Right? Right. We're going to be watching Bar Rescue, okay? But this isn't just going to be any normal Bar Rescue video, okay? But I thought, man, I I've covered Bar Rescue so thoroughly, you know, you know, is there any possible way that I can make this video more entertaining? Well, folks, the, the answer is yes. Because tonight, for the first time ever, we will be playing the Bar Rescue drinking game. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna look way cooler in the edit. But this isn't gonna be any regular drinking game, okay? Because you know John Taffer, he's saved a lot of bars, so naturally, he's gonna have his own liquor. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Taffer's Brown Butter Bourbon, uh, okay? As you can see, I've had quite a bit of it so far. Uh, here's a clip of me uh, actually carrying it on the street uh, after acquiring it. I did send John Taffer a DM. Uh, I said, John, please uh, distribute it to New York. He liked the message. He liked so, the message. All yeah, right. Come on. <laughs> Pretty thick. Don't worry, I got this uh, little shot glass for you here. It says, Thanks. Wicked pisser. Oh, say, which you know, I yeah. am. <laughs> As I pour this shot, I want to remind everyone that's playing along to please drink responsibly and legally. All right. Oh! This one is probably going to be the most obvious rule. I think rule number one, take a sip every time John raises his voice. Take a sip every time John says frickin'. <laughs> take a sip every time John yells, you failed, or you blew it, or calls someone a failure. Take a sip every time there's what Bar Rescue likes to call a gross up close up. I feel like with the rest of it, we just kind of have to feel it out. If there's a moment where we're like, this feels like a drinking moment, we take the drink. <laughs> You can put those rules up there. Maybe we'll follow them. Maybe we won't. Cheers, man. Cheers. Let's take a hefty sip. To the Taft cocktail. Mm. This year, 6,500 Bailey Bar. Uh, wait, well, I got one more thing. What? Not to make your intro longer. Something that will motivate me to drink a little bit more. Dude, no way. Oh! That is... The uh, frat shirt! And I got a gift. No way. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Yeah, man, I'm 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 giving pledge right now. This is fantastic. The Dugout Sports Bar and Grill, located in the heart of Wrigleyville in Chicago, Illinois, will become just another statistic. So it's an actual bar. For some reason I thought it was going to be like a baseball stadium thing. Yeah, no, I, I well, it's probably gonna have some themes, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. baseball themes. Yeah, yeah. After months of not receiving rent, landlord Ed Cressy was forced to evict the tenant operating the dugout and take it over. Um, um <laughs> wait. He didn't have to do it. He didn't have to. You gotta assume there's a there's a reason why they weren't able to pay rent, right? Yeah. Something horrendous has to have happened here for people not to be walking mm. into this place. It's next to one of the most famous baseball stadiums in the country. Yeah, it's it's a perfect location. So I guess all you really gotta do is just make it stand out more. I, what am I? What are we saying? Yeah, what are we, we doing, man? We gotta get in the fucking episode. We got okay? no we got no idea what to do. Ugh. The minute the last game of the season is over, the dugout becomes as empty as the seats of Wrigley Field. What a fucking roast. I... You know what I mean? <laughs> Suddenly a bunch of bench warmers yeah. show up. <laughs> no one's drinking anymore. You really so, knocked it out of the park. Do you just is this one is this just like uh you're feeling it kind no. of? No, oh sorry, no, yeah. no, no. This last off season we were probably thirty thousand in debt on a corporate credit card and lost five thousand a month. Thirty thousand you can totally recover from. Absolutely. That is the least debt that I've ever seen on bar rest. Really? The <laughs> least debt. Normally it's over over six figures. Yeah, in yeah. Debt. Ed Cressy has agreed to pull back the doors, bust open the books, and make a call for help. To Bar Rescue. Woo! Yeah, I'm feeling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm feeling, I'm it. feeling it. it. I'm feeling it. Oh. 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 Does it look like I'm hurt? Well, if I was in an accident, guess who I would call? Morgan & Morgan, America's largest accident injury law firm. You know what they say, when you're seriously hurt, your injury could be worth millions. Don't believe me? You think I'm an idiot? You think I'm an idiot. Just in the past couple of months, Morgan & Morgan has seen verdicts of $12 million in Florida, $26 million in Philadelphia, and $6.8 million in New York. Oh my God, help, help! And guys, don't forget, don't forget, the fee is absolutely free unless you win. Ladies and gentlemen, you can start a claim in just a click. It's that easy. You can start your claim now with Morgan & Morgan at forthepeople.com slash Andy King, or click the link in the say Bio. Des description. Oh, description. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's it. 
So welcome to Wrigleyville, guys. This is the home of Wrigley Field. There's 13 bars on this block. This is all about the Cubs. The red line is literally 300 feet from the front door of this bar. Drops off three million a year. Oh my gosh. What's the problem then? Right? What's the fucking problem, <laughs> right? Like there's- They gotta, they gotta be <laughs> idiots to be losing money. They have to be standing outside of the bar saying, don't come in. True. Or they got the cock out. For the bar, John brings in Phil Wills. Phil, a master whoa, whoa, dude, known these character cards are sick. I, I don't think we've seen these before. Season five update them. Woo! You saw the way he smiled at us just now in that. So you, you can really tell they started picking up more on Bar Rescue in the in the in the later seasons. What is it like season? I think it's like season. Uh, I think it's like season. Uh, I think it's like season. Have, uh, have some more your drink. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm, uh, I have another sip. Look at how he's holding. Is he levitating? Is he balancing, he's balancing the it bottle? On the actual, <laughs> yeah, holy on shit! The, on the, on the that is insane. Do you think he actually knows how to mix stuff, or he mostly just knows how to spin them? I think a lot of these guys just know how to how to twirl it. Yeah, you know how to how like to half do. the job is just presentation, having the charisma. You can have all the charisma in the world as a bartender, but still make a shitty drink. Mm. You know, it's like salt bay. Have you seen the super wow guy? Super wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I hate that guy so much. And for the kitchen, John brings in Ryan Scott. Ryan, Ryan Scott. Scott. He is quite the cheeser. I, I I've never seen this guy before. Okay. And here we are, guys. The dugout. I love how for recon in this one, they're just pulling up right outside the front door. <laughs> they got no customers. I can't wait for you to see how this guy just like talks and reacts to things. That hat does not fit his head. <laughs> it just doesn't. The sign has some issues to begin with. Yeah, the sign is like half torn off. I guess I don't really want to go to the UG out. Yeah. You know? Does it look like a sports party you feel? No. no, absolutely not. It literally looks like somebody's basement. You know, and they just kind of threw it together and invited some people in. It really, look at that. It does look like someone's basement. You know, more specifically, it looks like a church basement. You ever been to a church basement? Well, I could show you a few of those. A few? Hmm, you'd be surprised, man. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Have you been touched? Uh, uh, look, man. <laughs> By the Lord? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there's Ed. He owns the building. He had a tenant who leased a bar from him, and the guy didn't pay rent, so he took the bar back. So now you have yourself a reluctant bar owner. Mm. I don't really know what the problem is yet. There's a lot. There's a lot of unanswered questions here. Why did he take the property back and not just sell the property? Uh, you know what I'm wondering? Um, he hasn't raised his voice once or said frick. I feel like to make this a little bit more exciting, I'm feeling the vibes right now. Yeah, you know? absolutely. I'm really feeling the vibes right now. Oh yeah, man. Of course, of course. Are already halfway <laughs> done? No, man. That's just like that's just like the illusion of the drink, right? This. He's got some anger building up in his tummy. Oh God. His tummy, huh, John? Oh God. He's gonna say frickin'. He's gonna say frickin'. So we got Emily, the bartender. She seems to have a bit of a uh, uh, a bit more of a positive outlook on things, right? She's got a clear head, you know, a clear mind. She's healthy. She's um. Come on, man. I want John to yell at her. That's Scarlett. She's a bartender. She's old. She's rugged. You can tell the youth is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you cooking? I can cook. Okay. I find it strange. Just a moment ago, these two were screaming at each other. I wonder why they run so hot and cold. Was that a bit of a voice raise? Run it back. Just a moment ago, these two were screaming at each other. Oh, uh, yeah, right? It hits you like a fucking ton of bricks. Whoa. That's another drink right there. Subtle. It's <laughs> raising up. It's, it's getting a little medium. One more decimal. The whole bar can hear him from outside. What if in the middle of the recon they were like, is that... Why is there just a black sedan sitting out front? Like, it's huge. <laughs> That's a bus stop, isn't it? <laughs> so for recon, I got locals. Gordon Whitmire oh, and Gordon boy. Sun. Gordon is a sports writer for the Chicago Sun. I love the way that they introduce it. He's like, so for recon, I got locals. And they just show the two saddest looking motherfuckers <laughs> on the planet. Gordon's son, he's, he's rocking the jeans with no belt. Loosely tucked in button up shirt. It's awesome. We're gonna act like these guys haven't been to this bar every day of the week. That's probably why they're the recon. They're gonna be yeah. like, yo, what's going on? John Spies enter the dugout, a 1200 square foot subterranean bar. Subterranean. Are we just idiots? Should we look it up? Okay, because last time we did a video together and we and we thought it was funny that that woman said a can of milk. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah. She was talking about, that, yeah. She's talking about baby formula. No, no, it's just that because the gate in the front goes down a tunnel, which technically goes a little subterranean. Sub. Terrain. Aha! Uh -huh. Inside, an L-shaped bar with full kitchen. Well, I would call that a U-shape. <laughs> I would just call that a U-shape. <laughs> Man. Can I get a Long Island, please? Hey, Em, you want to yeah. make him a Long Island because you're the best? Absolutely. Guy? 
Why did he shake his head at that? Uh, bad. That was like the perfect interaction. No. no. You want to say no to that question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? You hot wouldn't be talking about the hot pussy, would you? Ah, uh, the hot pussy. That's what I'm going to the bar for. For uh, some hot pussy. I mean, what do you expect at a baseball themed bar? Other than the hot pussy shot. The hot pussy shot. I mean, it's been at pretty much every bar I've been I, to. Let's cut to John and him tell us this is a terrible idea. And we all know John is absolutely for this. Yeah. Hot pussy shot. What the <laughs> is that? I knew he was going to read the name of the drink. And I have to drink just for that. <laughs> hot pussy <laughs> shot. Pussy oh. You do that stuff in a college bar where right. 21 to 23 year old customers. You don't do it in a sports bar. Okay, first of all, first of all, wrong, first of all, wrong, 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 wrong. I'm wrong, 25 wrong. and Andy's 24. Yeah. Wrong. Second of all, college bars are filled with underage drinkers. Okay? That's just a known fact. He's touching raw product yeah. with his bare hands. Look at the smoke coming out of the oil. That's the food. This is this a gross up close up? That's a gross up close up. Okay, well, That's a gross up close up, I had man. A feeling. All right. Should we be communicating about the size? Yeah, no, I know. I'll, I'll go. Okay. Oh, no, it's all right. Oh. 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 Good it flies all over the place. Nah, it's a gross up close up. It's a gross up close and up. Pretty, for a pretty good one at that. I, yeah, yeah. That was a I lot of flies on one. Were, yeah. On one little bar <laughs> thing. <laughs> like that that was like seven of them. Mm. Mm. Uh. Oh, hands right into the pickle juice. That whole thing is spoiled now, John. Oh man. Oh man, that's a sip right yeah. there. He raised his voice. Mm. We might have set the, the threshold for the volume of him raising his voice a little low. That was also, uh, <laughs> I hate to tell you, but pick that back up, because that was definitely a gross-up close-up. Of the of the hot of dog? Of the pickles. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Of the pickles. Yeah. Are you done your first already? Let's not talk about it, man. Guys, here's what I want you to do. Go in, check the bar. Yeah. See if they can make a decent freaking drink. Our first frickin'. This is a double drink because he oh. said frickin' and he's raising yeah, his Yeah, I'm drinking for right frickin'. Now. So our first frickin' and another voice raise, so, you know. Well, they gotta beat the fuck out of him? <laughs> Dude, this is what I'm talking about with Phil. And the Peaky Blinders, I mean, yeah, his fit, you're right. I mean, they, they're all business, man. I know. Okay, not gonna lie, if Phil wasn't wearing that fit, though, I would probably think he's a, a pretty tough guy. Yeah, sure, sure. I sure. do think he is a tough guy. Yeah, I mean, he's got, again, Peaky Blinders fit, man. He's ready to fucking start some business. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna check the bar. You go in the kitchen, dude. I don't know what the oh, no, I got this. It's, like, it's not that high stakes. I feel like... Yo, man, I'm gonna get the fuck in the kitchen and see what's going on, man. I feel like John rubs off on people. Yeah. I feel like that's yeah. what happened. He does. It's the energy. They're just he, as angry. Well, because he sent them in there with that energy of being yeah. like, get in there right goddamn now and shut this down. Yeah, they come in and like the way they come in, like they look around, they're yeah. like, yo, who the... Fuck is running this place. Yeah. No gloves? Kick his ass. Yeah, kick, kick, kill him. I'm Ryan. I'd shake your hands, but I've watched how you cook tonight, so I don't want to do that if you don't mind. Oh, oh Ryan. Oh, my God. shit, Ryan. Would you eat out of this oil? Yeah. You gotta understand that you literally have mold. You literally have mold. Well, you guys stop <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> he goes, it's literally, ready? You literally have mold. <laughs> didn't sound like it. I mean, are you pretty much just like, don't give a <laughs> level is like right here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. The only thing stopping this dude from just swinging right now is the fact that this is a TV show. If this was not literally a reality show, it'd be lights out. Yeah. Seconds You're talking in. about middle age, probably divorced, bar owner. Ed's a massive dude. Yeah. He's a massive dude. He's seen some bar fights of his yeah. own. In and out of his own bar. Okay, we have a surprise visitor. Ash is here for a few minutes. All right, you know what? Let's just let's just baby. all take a let's all just take a sip to commemorate our, our special guest. You're going straight bourbon. Oh wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. What's the recipe for that? Uh, the how much? How much? Who's your manager? He's been pressed since the second he walked through the doors. He came in cursing. He's immediately aggressive. Also. He did not say that the drink tasted bad. I think he's no, a little, I think no, he's he enjoys a little, it. I think he's a little bit upset that he enjoyed it, right? Let me show you the chicken finger. Let me show you the food we that you're- We serve them. First of all, that was not a chicken finger. That was a nugget. It's a mac and cheese bite. You're right, it's a mac and cheese bite. Yeah, yeah. That was a gross up close up, unfortunately. <laughs> so, uh, God, it's, it's starting to get pretty grueling here. But it's just an unfried mac and cheese bite. It's not that gross. But they're still like, what the hell is this? <laughs> uh, uncooked food. We're not <laughs> serving that. <laughs> you wouldn't serve this, but it's okay to serve this barbecue sauce that came from the most disgusting container I've ever seen in my whole life. What is that? 
Ryan Scott, Master Chef. Yeah, he's a Master Chef. Which has 19 days of, hi, my name is Lazy. Whatever word they're like beeping out, it doesn't even make sense as a sentence. Run with it the, back. With the bad word. Yeah, wait. Like, it does, but it doesn't. Which has 19 days of, hi, my name is Lazy. Oh, hi, my oh, name yeah. is fucking, hi, my name is fucking Lazy. Well, that's, we've been talking about that so it's far as, they're being really aggressive right out the gate, kind of for no reason. Like, mm. in terms of bars I've seen on this show, at least, like, this is probably one of the better bars that I've seen. And this is the recon phase. This is the recon <laughs> phase. I like him. I don't like him. I really like him. <laughs> I, we were literally if talking- If you saw, like, how fast this interaction happened, though, he just came in, started <laughs> yelling. I don't even think Ed could look over the pile of <laughs> that was on his shoulder to look at me to admit what he was doing wrong. Mac and, Mac and cheese bites. Mac and cheese bites. Mac and cheese bites. <laughs> we have no consistency with this. I made a fishbowl right here. This isn't something that's gonna bring people into your bar. Wrong. Wrong. I'm, I'm telling you, man, they're just so wrong about everything. I mean, if they started accepting fake IDs, I think it would bring a lot of people in with the fishbowls. Here's the thing, you bring in you bring in a master chef and you bring in like a master mixologist to a sports bar. It's like, of course he's not gonna of like course. the fish bowl, you That's know? That's my biggest problem with this show is they're always just like, they're forcing it so yeah. much. It's this, like, this isn't supposed to be a high class establishment. They should have hot pussy. They should have the three piece fried chicken with fries just on a printed out sheet for Microsoft Word. For seven this bucks. This is the bar you should get. But if I have five of my buddies sitting here and we're ordering a fish bowl, you wanna have a nice romantic fish bowl with me? Oh. <laughs> this is, oh. dude, this is what I'm talking about with Phil. He's always like antagonizing. He's always dude. antagonizing people. This guy won't talk to his customers. He won't talk to Phil. Won't talk to Ryan. Let's see if he talks to me. Oh. To raise my voice. God, what an intro though. Yeah, thank you for the claps. What an intro. That's also a raise. I, say, I was waiting for that sense. Was it, it was a progressive raise the voice too. You're making excuses for me right now. Ed, tell me, how much money are you losing each year? Each off season, probably 30 to 40,000. 30 to 40,000. <laughs> Yeah, he's Should their that? customers be hearing yeah. this? I mean, this is like the most attention the bar has probably gotten in months. Look at all of these flies up along the railing. Look at all of these flies. It's a gross up, close up, man. A little bit. If you think flies are gross, I think they're beautiful creatures of the universe. Yep, they're awesome. Flies breed off of yeast. They breed off of filth. <laughs> Dude, he's so dramatic. The flies, they thrive off of your fear. So he touches raw chicken. Then he touches the handle of the refrigerator. Then he takes the hot dog bun with your raw chicken on it. This is all a yell. I know. I mean, like, it's like, how many, how many sips do we take? Also, look at this guy's face right here. He's you like, like might as well. <sighs> when you hear that, do you want to come back here? No. I ain't coming back. You want to drink that right no, now? I'm done with it. <laughs> no, no, man. I, I'm I, I, was done, I was done with it anyway. Anybody want to drink this? Of course no! not! It's just unnecessary, just, right? I understand maybe like <coughs> throwing like a small glass of something, but that's just He just like... threw the whole romantic fishbowl. Yeah, look at look at Phil. Look at Phil right now. He's like, mm, that that's, was- That's that was my boss. <laughs> <laughs> Throw out the food in that kitchen. Shut it down. No problem, John. <gasps> Shut, it, Shut down! it down! I mean, look, that's not like Shut in the it rules, down. but it's like- Shut it down. Shut it down. Oh, I just burped. I'm so sorry. It's probably gonna smell like pizza. How bad is this place doing if they have merch? And a mannequin. I should always be drinking when I make these videos. It makes it so much more fun. Oh my god. I, in fact, I shake whenever I'm not drinking. Join the club, dude. Every <laughs> video, I'm telling you. I'm gonna keep going, dude. Wrigley Field? I mean, it's, it's, oh, it's- I am gonna make you responsible no matter how embarrassing it is. What bull this is? Let's get out of here, guys. Yeah. Wait, but look what he's doing. He's out of there. It's time for another drink. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's terrible. That's still like a, well, okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Let's get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. So I see we're not alone. Yeah, we're not. How long we've had fries, eh? Off and on. <laughs> Off and on. <laughs> that question's usually for like, uh, oh, like how long have you been like working or like going to school or whatever. Oh, yeah. Off and on. Off Relationship, and on. off and on. It's like being like, you so like, how often do you kill people? Hmm. Off and on. Off and on. You didn't see what happened here last night. What's your name? Mike. Oh, hey, nice to meet you, man. Do you suck or not? Yeah, uh, hey man, can we just get this over with quickly? <laughs> uh, should I just get all my yells <laughs> out now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this this whole part is feeling very, uh, very dangerously low key. Yeah, definitely. Right? Uh, you know, it's building up again. It's, uh -huh. I feel uh -huh. like John is just like a time bomb that resets. Well, yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, he's cooking up that anger in his tummy. Yeah. He's got some anger building up in his tummy. So like, he gets it out, 
Next day, he's super chill. Oh, hey, we're best friends. Oh, let's let's make this place beautiful. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, man, let's touch each other. Your name's Mike. Let's get intimate. I hate Mike. Mike, let's get intimate. What do you do here? Cook on and off. Eddie's my uncle. Eddie's my uncle. Everyone on the same page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he looks like Ed. Cook on and off like the flies. Off and on. On and off. Whenever the flies are on, I'm off. But whenever oh. they're off, I'm on. Club season came around. I went to start collecting the rent again, and they're like, we're not going to give you a dime. What's the problem? People. I don't know that. Uh, the guy is just very matter of fact. I mean, other than kind of being an asshole to all of the workers and being lazy as shit. Like, he's just lazy. He's just yeah. kind of answering questions right now yeah, as, yeah. as honestly as he can. The only thing I'll give him flag for is what we said before, which is like, oh, the bar failed in off season? I'll take it over. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> like, why? why? Yeah. <laughs> sell that shit. <laughs> what are you sell doing? Sell it now. This is a really unique situation. I have a landlord who never intended to operate this bar and take on the weight. No. Landlord? We got a <laughs> landlord. John fucking, I bet he loves landlords. We got a landlord. Just sit. Remember, yours is more spiked right now. Is it? Yeah, she poured her bourbon straight into it. Yep. When it comes to the business, he's selfish. So we'll put as little as he can into something. Because he doesn't want to work. It's because he doesn't care about it. See, this is what you said in the very beginning, which is that this relationship is at the crux of everything. Right. It's not it's not so much the bar that's the issue. It's 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 more so the relationship between the two star employees. Yeah. When I watch moments like this in the show, and the more that I've watched Bar Rescue just casually, the more I'm like, okay. Marriage rescue does make sense. Because I've always been like, why is John Taffer saving marriages? But I'm like, he's mending relationships all the time. I mean, look, for all we know, it could be mending, yeah. right? But <laughs> his aggressive approach does work in some situations. Yeah, surprisingly. Surely, surely, surely. I feel like that is the most productive conversation we've had this entire video. Probably. I think Actually, we should drink to most, that. The most straight, <laughs> straight to the point conversation. Do you can smell the Wookiees through What's this? What's Endor? You a Star Wars fan? No. Oh, well. The Wookiees in the woods and that wood planet they land on? Well, that would be indoor. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens with me here? It doesn't matter what you build us. Nothing's going to be kept up with. The minute you leave, everything's going to go back to the way it was. We'll just have a new bar. Now that's really, that's really interesting. That's real. That's someone on the show who's talking about the reality of the show. But like, but, but what she's pointing to, the fact that like, well, it doesn't matter because afterwards, the managers are going to go right back to how they were before. Sure. So no matter how much we revamp the bar, it's going to go back to it. I wonder what percentage of bars are really like that. Just at the mercy of the manager. You know, what's so funny to me about this video so far is that going into it, I thought that the more we drank, the more unhinged we would become. However, it's seeming that the more that we drink, the more practical we become. Maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> I feel like we're getting to that point of inebriation where we're being way too practical. About You're right. Things. You're right. <laughs> When's John gonna yell? Oh, yeah, come on! John, every person in this building, including your employees, are an inconvenience to you. And it shows! There it is. It, they're starting to become regrettable <laughs> sips at this point in time. Hey, does this guy have any emotion at all? Wow! Did you see how expressive his face was just now? Hey, does this guy have any emotion at all? That is the most- Every emotion. He went- <laughs> Very Trump. Very Trump, yeah, right? Very. very Trump. You, my friend, come off. I can ask. You know what I've never understood? Why do they bleep the word asshole on TV Just shows? the hole and not the ass? I can ask. They bleep the hole and not the ass? My entire life I've wondered why they don't bleep the whole, the, the ass part instead of the whole part. That's so weird. I've thought about this for a long time. I don't know I why just I never, never even noticed. First time I've ever noticed. They do it in like all shows. Same with uh, when people say goddamn, they bleep the god part, but not they keep the damn. the damn it. Weird. I thought we were trying to take Jesus out of the schools. <laughs> Separation of church and state sip right I, there. I love this keyboard because you can just absolutely slap it. Basically what's happening right now is John is just finishing up his talk with them. He brings in the experts. He's like, hey, look at these people. Uh, by the way, Phil Wills is, he's wearing the same outfit, just a different colorway. I think that's absolutely fascinating. So now they're going to do a walkthrough of the bar uh, and we're going to see just how bad this place is. Honestly, it really hasn't looked that terrible from what we've seen. Not awful. It's really, like, honestly, I think it's up to code. Now, there's something behind the bar in a jug. Hot pussy shot? What if I took you out on a date and I brought you here and I said, let's have one of these. <laughs> Sold. I 
Sold. Fucking love Phil Wills, man. Yeah, absolutely. He says the best shit. How about we have one of these? The hot pussy oh, shot. Hot Just man. like before, though, this guy is an expert mixologist, and he's out of his league right now. He's <laughs> out of his depth. I'll tell you what, I haven't seen him make a single goddamn drink. True. You know, I look, I get it, though. It is objectively weird to have a bar where there is literally only one other male employee and have their head drink be the hot pussy shot. <laughs> Sorry to white knight here. No, but, it's uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, I think it just objectively makes sense. Well, as long as I'm here, this is not gonna hang out. Yep. Is this feminism? Yep. I'm not sure. I... Last night, I gave very, very basic instructions. It was one to clean, two to clean, and three to clean. Are these close-up gross-ups? I mean, we gotta we got one more drink. Gotta stick to definition here, right? What'd you do all the food last night I threw away? I put it back in the freezer so it wouldn't go bad and I'll take it home. I'm completely baffled by the fact that you don't give two I do not like this guy. I think he's an asshole. He's giving him straight answers. It's yeah. not it's not like Ed is also being a dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like trying to, you know, like mess with him. Like he's just giving straight answers. Every time that like the owner has a clear head or a clear answer. John and the others, they hate it. They hate it. I'm literally talking to a blank wall. No, you're talking to a guy who's giving you a straight answer. I think when John does it, it's, it's good. But now here's your experts. Send them in. Give the advice. Don't let them be assholes, too. I know. I <laughs> They're know. They're just as angry as this John. Guy, the, my problem is, like, this guy is... 10 times more of an asshole than, than John. Yeah. And that is why it's not working. <laughs> Let for John me. do the asshole. Exactly. Thing. That's his thing. And then your two guys give advice, build it up again. And then John comes in again to be an asshole. Precisely. You know? Precisely. Yeah. As my uncle, he called me in, said he needed help with this. What if what if he just doesn't work there? At yeah, all? that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, just... he called me in last night in a, in a cold sweat. He was like, John Taffer's here. I, I need you. I need you. So I pulled up. He did not explain what I was getting into. It's like a TV show or something. Yeah, maybe we're right. <laughs> maybe we're correct. You have three ways to make a cocktail. A stir, a build, and a shake. What's the procedure to make a Cape Cod? I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like if he was like, uh, what's the, what do you do to make a margarita? You know, you shake it. What do oh. you do to make uh, a whiskey sour? Actually, I don't know. <laughs> it's just weird because like the other episode before you show me, it's like they try to come up with like very specific drinks that they can serve. So they just yeah. know the drinks. Oh, and here's quiz them on every drink ever. Yeah, what's a Cape Cod? What's a Cape Cod? It's the same thing in the last one we watched. You were like, who knows how to make a Harvey wall banger? Not that we're ever going to serve that. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, so first he teaches them how to make a whiskey ginger. Honestly, one of my go-tos at the bar. I've learned a lot. It's amazing how much thought can go into pouring three ingredients into a glass he made one drink <laughs> he yeah. made one drink yeah I'm, I'm sorry we're just moving on this like, business is crazy this is fucked up which also is just like the thing before it's like you guys want to make cape, cape cod yeah come well, on i'm only teaching one drink so <laughs> okay so over in the kitchen it looks like they're making classic chicago style hot dogs um that's that's it. That's it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been a very good back kitchen guy. That's not where I need to be. That's like pulling Michael Jordan out of the fourth quarter to have him serve Gatorade to his teammates on the uh, bench. And does that mean that you are in that scenario? I am absolutely Michael Jordan. I'm the glue that holds the book together. All right, I take everything I said. Yeah, back. he just. I mean, he. I, I love that the producer was like so. Are Clarify that statement. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Michael Jordan would never come to this bar. Yeah. Well, because it's baseball. <laughs> wait, wait, are you making that joke because of Michael Jordan's failed baseball career? Oh, no. Did no, you he know did about play that? baseball? Then, uh, yeah, he did. Let's let's cut it off and see if I did know about that, but I didn't. You take a couple of the sport peppers, and put the diced onions on top. Are you noticing what I'm noticing? Uh, I'm noticing one thing. I'm noticing that There's I There's a wanna... huge thing. What? There's a huge thing. All right, go for it. He's not wearing gloves. Oh, my God. I was gonna say, this looks like a damn good hot dog. It does look good. <laughs> but we have to remember what your customer's like. It's about understanding oh, the oh, demographic. His nephew's housing it. He's <laughs> fucking that shit up. Shut the fuck up, uncle. <laughs> this shit's good. Oh. Do you think that this is a joke? Not at all. Right before we bring in 200 people to this bar, you're sitting there drinking. You know what? It's been a minute. I think for one for the vibes. One for the vibes. And maybe a going. slight <laughs> yell in last in a John's Jen John's last rampage. Uh -huh. I'd like to welcome you all to the world famous dugout. Let's go inside and have a good time. Smile, Ed. 
Hey, thank you so much. <laughs> just to let you know, the stress test uh, for the first. Uh, so, guys, just to let you. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. So, just to let you guys know, the stress test this night, it seems like it's going pretty well so far, but once again, they're just handling everything in the kitchen with their bare hands, which. As far as I'm concerned, is a no-no. That was Ryan Scott's biggest issue. That was the reason John originally stormed the bar, and now they just don't do it. No one cares about what Ryan. Wow. You know, no one cares about Ryan Scott. You know, he's a hack. Who's hungry? Ed. The next ten people you see are on me, Ed. <laughs> yeah, it's been, a bit. it's been a bit. Yeah, it's been it a has bit. been a bit. He's yelling. It would seem, yeah, that the, this stress test is going pretty well, except for the fact that Ed is just kind of slacking off. Yeah, because he's just running a typical sports bar. I mean, right. Like, yeah. Typically, they don't have 200 people. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm interested with, to see where this is going. Like, this is a suspiciously good stress test. Okay. Those first two tickets came out. I gave those hot dogs to the other people. Yeah, they got the three. John told him to say that. John told wow. him to say that. Yeah, he's, you know he was going around being like, hey, on me. Tell him to smile. Have you guys seen Ed smile yet? No. no. Oh my God. They are right, obsessed drink, drink, with the yeah. smiles. I just don't get it tonight. You're right. He's trying to make up problems. The you guy know, is depressed. I was not smiling. Look, I would call John a hypocrite for not smiling, but I mean, look behind you right now. I mean, that's one of the brightest smiles I've yeah. seen all day. Fair. You've owned this bar for five years and you can't even deliver food to a table properly. I've seen what I need to see, guys. Let's shut this bar down. Why don't you guys come back Sunday night? I'll show you what a real bar looks like, okay? A real bar looks I'll like. I'll show you what a real bar a looks real like. bar looks like. I, my biggest problem with this episode so far, and I mean, we're going to keep moving, but my biggest problem is that it doesn't seem like they're being very productive. He's just insulting him. He does need to know where to deliver food, whatever. It's like tiny stuff, but like they kind of harp on the wrong thing. So now Phil is coming in. We're, we're kind of in these final few hours here. So first thing is going to happen is Phil is going to come in. He's going to show him how to make some new drinks. Naturally, Gunner and I are going to talk about how much we hate or love the drinks. It's a very good possibility I might rip out everything that they put in. So why the hell are we here then? You don't need us. I'm pretty much done with it. All right, man. Look, usually in this part, we just get to hear about the new drinks, but this guy's putting up a fight. Like, I really just want to hear about these new drinks, man. I am hanging on by a thread right now. Yeah, I want to defend Ed a lot for, for how hard they go at him, but at the same time, he really does just... He's just feeding it back. Not go with it. Yeah, he just goes right back. I thought yesterday we were getting somewhere, but Ed told Phil he would take everything down. I don't want to go through this again. So she's just quitting? <laughs> I don't understand this episode. Like, everything has actually been going so well. It's one person this that's been one, a catalyst for this The manager, place. though. Well, what are you going to do? If you're an employee for the manager? If you're the owner of the bar? Should we take a sip for her walking out? It's yeah, not yeah, yeah, it mean, is a walkout. I'll take it. I, I create an economic model that makes sense. I start understanding what my revenues are going to be on a weekly basis. And I back into a 28% labor cost, a 20% beverage cost, and a 30% food cost, and I engineer the business. All right, man. I, I, look, I don't need the numbers, okay? At this point, I'm kind of just- You're 50% pissing me off. I'm staring at the screen. I'm noticing how beautiful this bar is. I don't care about the numbers. Just, well, let's I'm see it. 20% joking. You don't pick out of the sky. That's why you're failing. Failing. He said you're a failure and that's a, yep. that's a drink. Yeah, finisher. it's a double. Now you might finish. Uh, it's a double for sure. Please. I'm actually a little scared because I'm pretty sure when we started, the bottle was like right here. Yeah, it was close. And now we got Jesus some. Christ. We're going to rescue this bar. Yeah, uh, maybe. Or not. If it wasn't for my reputation in the city of Chicago and that this is important to you guys, I would not do this, but I will finish it. And this ass is gonna get a new bar. This guy sucks. There's he walked out no, of me. I'm still gonna give him a new bar. There's no way this works out. It's time for them to decide what's best for them to do. Do you see Ed here? I didn't invite him. I did everything I could think of to get this guy to turn around. Please, there's no way. Please tell me he bought the bar and then gives it to the waitress. There's no way. But that'd be crazy. All right, in the count of three, turn around. One, two, three. Shut up. This is cool. Wow, that ATM really stands out now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it looks. That's it, cleaner, yeah. I, 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 it looks all right. I, I'm just not sure that it's going to work out. I don't know. Let's see. John, my God. How are you? You're drunk, aren't you? No, not at all. 
I can tell by the way he's acting. I can smell it from here. No <laughs> fucking way. He's shit-faced, dude. I'm looking back. Now I feel like he always was. Usually it's weird because they, like, show the person drinking. They did for that one scene. He drank before the show. They up, only but... showed him drinking once this he was entire sneaking them. episode. He was sneaking them outside. He was sneaking them for sure. There's your bar. Run it. Take the signs down. Change the name. Do whatever you want. I'm leaving. Tell him what you want to do, guys. I quit. Moment. Good luck. Oh, wow. Okay, so it really does look like everyone is leaving and he's just taking the... I mean, this is the most, like, dumbfounded I've been at the end of a bar rescue Yeah, episode. I mean, at this first is... you just think he's, like, indifferent, not really saying much, and then he ends up being just, like, an actual alcoholic asshole who's unappreciative of, like, the major renovations they did. Sales remain unconfirmed. Okay, they got jobs. Oh, two of them Wow, returned. they returned. And so is the pussy. So no yes. fucking way. Yes. The hot pussy yes. shot made it. I gotta see if this place is still around. I gotta see. What's it called? It's open. All you had to do was get new people. Again, we, at the beginning, dude, the location couldn't be beat. You could be the shittiest bar ever. The location couldn't be beat. Guys, I can't take any more of this. Let's just wrap this up. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to like and comment and subscribe. And uh, Gunnar, can, I've been doing this thing recently. Can you give something like for people to talk about in the comments? Maybe like, you know, like your favorite something or, or talk about this or, or argue about this. Argue about what do you guys think Andy meant when he said he uh, recognized the uh, exterior of the bar by church basements? Leave your comments below. What do you think he meant by that? Uh, How many basements have you seen? Is he okay? That being said, guys, uh, go check out Gunner's channel. You know what he does. He does the streams Tuesdays and Thursdays on twitch.tv slash Live. Nice. I got it right. That being said, guys, that's all we have for you this time. But until next time, it's over, man. I, I can't believe it. Until next time. No, we already did that part. We're in the part after that part. Keep doing that part. I'll be part of that part. Do that part. You it's, got it. It's just got to be over. It's got to be over, man.